decision that you made. You can't come around 30 years later. That was your vested interest. That was your vested interest. But 30 years later, this guy still made a lot of money. He'll get done. He's gone in sexual rehab or whatever. And which you've is made a lot of money service. through your vested interest. That's correct. So um, I think it's a bit mercenary, actually. Rather than doing the right thing, and, uh, it is a bit mercenary in most cases. And also it dilutes case. really genuine victims. Because right now I'm getting bored. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting bored. Story. I mean, and so you, the bottom line is the media just want to sell their papers. They don't care how many lies they ruin on the way to wearing that piece of news out until they move on to the next victim. Yeah. So, so, so let's talk about s- someone who really is worthy of a mention. President Mugabe, or is it going to be ex-President Mugabe? Mm. Um, and he's you know, 93 years old. He was reluctant to actually leave. And he's got, um, he, he, want, he sacked his vice president and he wanted to put his wife, um, whose nickname is Gucci Grace. Did you know that? Uh, I did actually, yes. Yeah, his name, name, her, name was, her nickname was Gucci Grace by the media. And uh, they, she, he wanted to replace her in power to eventually take up over her because she's about 40 years younger than he is. Uh, is that right? Yep. Um, but the military have now stepped in. He's under house arrest. But you know why the military stepped in? I'll tell you why. There's a, there's a picture I saw of him looking up at his wife, looking annoyed with him. And I thought, this guy's pussy whipped. And so the military genuinely don't want to be led by the president's wife. That's the problem you've got. If he was genuine in charge, like Donald... I mean, you can't imagine for a second that John Trump is pussy whipped by his wife. Be Donald Trump? Mm-hmm. I think it's the other way around, actually. Well, well geez, indeed. But yeah, that's, he's, that's he's, exactly... He's a bit of a bully, though, isn't he? That's exactly the point I'm making. So the military have panicked. But if you notice also, they haven't got rid of him. He's, he's actually saying, he's saying, you know what, I'm, uh, I'm still in power. I, I want to see out the, the, my presidential term. But it's no presidential term. He's been in charge since, since um, it's a, it's, 1980. It's or a or fake democracy, isn't it, But where he wins each election. Um, and the key, the, the point that, that's really interesting is that they, they're too scared to get rid of him because dictatorship is the most effective way of leading. And he's led the country with an iron fist. Well, you know, an incredibly well, corrupt, effect, sorry, an incredibly corrupt, a, a cr- incredibly corrupt, disorganized place needs yeah, it's, it's, leading yeah. with an iron fist. Yeah, we're going to have to disagree there because I, I have a real issue with this whole dictatorship thing. Um, I think a leader needs to be a leader, um, and I think he needs to allow, he needs to be allowed to make certain decisions. Can you tell me the most effective leaders in history? Well, well we, we talked about this before. Tell me the most effective leaders in history. Uh, most fe- Alexander the Great was a great dictator. Leader. Um, Margaret Thatcher Dictator-ish <laughs> Dictator-ish Of course In a democracy, yeah Okay um, I'm thinking, who else? Genghis Khan Dictator Dictator Levin, Wow, Julius Caesar Dictator, Dictator. <laughs> Napoleon There you go And you see, I, this is the problem we have And you said but to guess me what hap- But guess what happened to Eldon a second Julius Caesar He got assassinated Napoleon He lost Genghis Khan he spread his seed all over the world um, apparently one in twelve children but, uh, I guess your point so of course you're right the <laughs> mode by which you lead is the mode by which you will right. be deposed so, so you look at we're not we don't care about because <clears throat> don't forget a dictator is themselves replaceable they're disposable it's the effect they have and dictatorship is the most effective way of leading look at what they achieved you don't think a politically correct democracy would have achieved one millionth of what yeah, those but guys you, but did you, you have to look at how they also run the country and the thing is and, and their abuse of power and this is what it comes down to and the thing is you look at the connection between sexual harassment and power and bad dictators no, no, you look at na- you look there's, at national there's a pride. connection you look at national a pride and comes it's highest to power. under dictators look Look at Zimbabwe. Since its since its separation from the UK, its inflation is the worst. Is one of the worst in the world. It's got um, economic sanctions. Yeah, it's got. Um, but that's just economic sanctions as well as corruption. All right, corruption. What, what else does it have? It, uh, people are starving over there. Yeah, Gucci Grace gets to spend 120,000 well, pesos. He's pussy you, know. you see, the difficulty now is he's, the reason why it's falling apart is because the guy's pussy whipped. It's the, been, falling, and it's been falling around have, for years. I know, but the military have quite rightly said, actually, you know, we've had enough of this. You're not even a proper dictator anymore. 
And that's that's the point they're making. So, uh, so no, I do not agree dictatorship doesn't work. I don't think democracy is really working right now. That's why I said benevolent dictator, because there's got to be something in it for the populace, but, but, uh, but they but have to be led by fear, but there has to be uh, also a carrot thrown in there to keep them happy. But you, you talk about benevolent dictator, and you've, and, you, and you've used God as that example, as a benevolent dictator, but that can only happen providing everybody's Correct. in the same... Every, everybody's in line. So apply and it. And this is where diversity goes wrong. So you've got, um, you know, you've got a Muslim population, a Christian population, you've got a you know all, all different rules going on, which is un- and the thing is um, Sharia law doesn't want to follow democracy, all this sort of stuff. So all of a sudden, it's a fault you, of our can, government. you can't have harmony. It's correct. It's the fault of our government. The government need to enforce a unified structure with with. Uh, so it's one thing, whether it's one religion or or one constitution, one mode of leading and one mode of imposing structure on behavior. Yeah, so so there's but religion know, just happens so, to be the most so effective. I think it was always going to be a case that Mugabe was going to go. I'm surprised that he actually lasted this long, this long so far because he should have gone a long, long time ago. Um, but yet they decide you know they, they're still getting foreign aid they're getting foreign aid from a from a from a dictator who in fact has actually been one of the most corrupt politicians in the world it's probably because the west have seen uh, that he is probably the best uh, option at the moment to maintain stability and when they decide he's not then they'll let him go well there you go so so, on to Angela Merkel, just quickly. And why stability? Because dictatorship okay, is the most effective way. we're not going on to Angela way. Merkel. Sorry? Yeah, Angela Merkel, another dictator. Another dictator. But, but f- suffering because she's Ish. actually having to function as democracy. Well, she's not, well she, is, she, is, she, is in a, she is in a democratic process. The West does actually have that option of a democratic process, um, as, as fluid as it can be. But she's functioning like a dictator. That's the problem. Well, the thing is, she's never listened to what the people wanted. And I think this is what's happening all over Europe. You know, you've got Austria, who's had um, this young, uh, this Sebastian, oh, I can't remember his surname, Cruz, 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 something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you've got this Austrian 31-year-old who's now leading the country. He's, um, he's very anti-immigration. You've got the UK that have come out of Europe mainly because of immigration. You've got um, Le Pen, who made such headway. Marianne Le Pen made such headway um, in France, even though she didn't get in. Because, I mean, I, th- I don't think the far... You know, let's face it, the far right... We, people don't really want the far right, but people seeing as there's not really another alternative if the left keep on... Per- performing they do into or dealing with the way they're dealing with immigration if they're not li- if the people don't want it and they're not listening to what the people want then i've got to say they're not doing themselves any favors they have to learn to compromise yeah, you can't and that's you, what democracy you, you, is it's a, it's a form of compromise you can't be uh, you can't run as a dictator in a democracy unfortunately but the reason why people do try it's because the only way to get things done that's the difficulty. And that's why Theresa May held another general election, because she needed more power to push things through. So she needed pseudo-dictatorship powers to push things through. She didn't get it. She didn't get it. But so, so Angela Merkel, give us a little bit of background as to what's happening right now, Thea. She's just a... Uh, because of the furore over immigration, she doesn't have the support to form a coalition government. And therefore, she's in big trouble at the moment. Yeah, so I mean, the thing is, the far right are actually in parliament in their parliament now. It should never, it should never have happened. Yet the reason is, is because, and the thing is, it happened with Margaret Thatcher as well. She'd been there so long, it'd gone to her head, and you know, she wanted to introduce what was the poll tax in those days. And um, you see, she became, she began acting more and more like a dictator, and. At that point, she lost touch with, real, of, with the reality of the situation. Well, so, 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 is, so is Merkel. Angela Merkel has yep. lost touch with reality because the harmony that's happened in France and Germany is now being disrupted. And the thing is, not to mention Sweden. I mean, we talk about, but for I'll, example, I'll hold on a second. Hold on. You know, you, you had someone like Donald Trump who actually brings up Sweden, the media slam him down. But really, it's happening in Sweden as well. It's happening in all over Europe. And these countries, and particularly Poland, who are who are dealing with it in their own way, um, Austria are dealing with it now mm. um, because people are unhappy, mm. and unhappy people creates disruption, and it creates riots, and it creates violence, and it creates all these sort of things. So how can you live in a harmonious country if you keep on injecting 
uh, something that people don't want into it. Correct. Absolutely right. And just taking uh, one step further back, I, I always remember when I saw Gorbachev speaking at a little uh, charity do that I attended, also attended by Margaret Thatcher. And he said to her, he, he actually looked at her and he said, um, he said, I always remember that you, uh, you, you made me feel as if I was always doing something wrong. And at that point, he, he still looked at her anxiously. And it was the Russians who coined the term Iron Lady. Did you that's, know that? That's correct. It was, yeah. uh, it was the, um, yeah, the Russian media, actually. Correct. So she had the ability to cause fear. Okay. That causes, that induces respect. So what were the Argentinians thinking about going into the Falklands when she was in power? Mm -hmm. She had such a point to prove. Mm-hmm. So the, 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 again, I mean, that's the, another story. That is the though, power isn't it? of dictatorship. The humans need to be led by fear, but in order to make something really long-lasting, there needs to be carrots in there somewhere. Of course. I mean, the thing is, you look at someone like Donald Trump from right now again. And that's religion. Um, <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's, a, that's another conversation. But you look at someone like Donald Trump, though, he's struggling to get what he wants. Because he's also trying to be a dictator. He signed all these executive orders willy nilly and, and uh, you know, gaily doing it. But at, at the end of the day, he's discovered that democracy scuppers anything, any attempt at getting things done. Yeah, so, but the thing is that all, they all do it to each other. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, he can't get anything he wants to do, which means he'll be an ineffective. In, 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 in and he, and he'll end up doing president. what Obama did, which is which is uh, hide hide behind a, the, his veil, doing absolutely nothing, being beaten up by his wife. Yeah, well, but perhaps not the latter for yeah. Trump. But you know, but actually, do, do you know something? There was something because I mean, he got um, um, leading up to his general election. There was a lot of thing about him being a, um, a sexual deviant as well. And funny enough, you know what? He wouldn't have been elected. If the, with the current media fury of a harassment, would he? He just would never have happened. No, that wouldn't have happened actually. But it, it brings up an interesting point because, um, and I don't know if this is true, and I may have to do some research into it. But if you actually look back in history, a lot of the most powerful people in the world were all sexual deviants. Correct. Well, in fact, the all right. Two so, is there a connection between the two? Lloyd George um, and a couple of other prime ministers. They, in the first half of the 20th century, they, they were majorly into um, having love children and uh, affairs and so on. And, and uh, powerful, energetic men do, have, do need to release their energy, shall we say. And, the, you know, there's no two ways about it because if men are predators, then powerful, energetic men are going to be powerful, energetic predators. But there is a difference between being a predator and actually... An uh, abuser, absolutely. And, and, uh, yeah, and, 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 and let's be clear about that because at the, at the end of the day, um, I mean, despite the lady saying, I mean, we didn't, we didn't actually ask her name because we didn't really want to... I, I, I think she was a bit uncomfortable, actually. It's anonymity, and that's fine, because don't forget, she wasn't expecting it. She wasn't expecting, that's true. And I did ask her under my breath, are you okay doing this? I don't know if you saw that. I know, I did here is she, mm. she, she said and she said yes, yes. Mm. Um, but but the thing is yeah so there's a there's the, well, this is when an abuse of power actually comes in into play and you know you, you have but all these people and, and I think there's a pattern whether it's Bill Clinton Donald Trump um, my grandfather you know it's my, my, one of my my your grandfather my, my, well, I, I, I didn't know your grandfather. my maternal grandfather was one of the most amazing men I've ever met from living in a little Greek village he set up a huge business an empire quite literally and when, when uh, in the 1920s the Greeks got kicked out of, of uh, Turkey because of course there was an ancient Greek community in Turkey uh, he, he then came to um, uh, the Greece as an immigrant and he did the whole thing again and the guy saved so many lives over his time because he, he really was someone of principle and uh, he had a different mistress in each town. He he travelled a lot, and uh, his wife knew about it, and it was just accepted. Um, so can I can I, can I ask a question? Mm. So is men's natural instinct 
not suited to this 21st century politically correct world that we live in? Well, again, or, or, or is there is the there is, is, all, is, all, is it all out of balance now? Look at the history of marriage. Marriage was nothing about love initially. Marriage was something about convenience. In other words, the woman says, "Who's going to look after me?" or uh, you know, who's who comes from a similar background, and and the parents say, "Right, you're suitable. Get I married." Think that's the reason.